Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of Jalter's uh, Diagnostic Vlogs. My name is Marcos and in this vlog I'm gonna show you how to perform uh, with Jalter's of Highway a DPF regeneration with suit level in service mode. This is something typical of John Deere equipment and this action will be available in the software for different John Deere engines as for example the level 21 and 23 entering tier 4 and the level 34 final tier 4. So the first question is when are we going to carry out this action? Well, we will do it when our engine is performing abnormally and we have any of the two following circumstances. One, the particulate filter regenerations are not being produced automatically by the control unit. Or two, when the particulate filter conditions are uncertain. It is important to keep in mind that this procedure must only be performed when the measurements related to the particulate filter as content indicate service mode. On top of that, and before performing the test, it is advisable to diagnose the system to make sure that we don't have any active fault in the control unit memory, excepting, of course, all of those that could be related to this region. The second question is, how long does it take this particular DPF regeneration? On average, it will take us about three hours, therefore it will be important to previously verify the fuel level. And what to do after? Well, once the process finishes, we have to keep the engine at idle revolutions for at least five minutes in order to let the after treatment system cool off. So let's imagine that we are working in a level 21 entering tier 4 engine and in order to perform this action we will select our engine and connect. In the system menu we will go to maintenance to find the different actions related to the after treatment system and specifically to the diesel particulate filter. If we expand here, we will see different options, among which is the regeneration that we want to carry out. Then, the software will ask us to introduce the expert mode code, something that always happens whenever we perform any action that means changes in the ECU behavior. Once we introduce it, we access to a screen in which we have the explanation of the action and some of the important instru instructions and notes that I mentioned before and that must be taken into account. If we press continue, we will find the initial conditions required to start the region, in this case, engine running, parking brake activated, particulate filter as content in service mode, regeneration inhibit status in automatic, etc. When everything is met, we press continue in order to start the process. And then, during the process, we can track all the different values taken for the different measurements. We can see them displayed on a list or we can go to the graph or to the system display on the right. After approximately three hours, the region will finish. After the regeneration, it is advisable to carry out a differential pressure reset maintenance. A cool thing of Jeltes is that during the execution of the action, a graph is generated with the different measurements taken in each moment. This graph could be displayed and or stored in case we want to check these values registered during the process. And this is it. As you have seen, the process is quite simple and will help you to get your equipment back to work. If you liked this video and found it useful, please give us a thumbs up or share it. And if you have some questions or comments to do, just do it here below. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in more Jaltes vlogs. Bye bye.